So the other day, the guys at Ford phoned me up and said, Alex, we've got a new car. We've got a Ford Tornado Connect and we want you guys to do something with it. So we said, you know us, we're always up for a challenge. So they said, why not go on a little bit of a road trip? So we said, yeah, let's do that. How about Scotland and back? Nah, bit boring, been done before. Why don't you drive it to a place in France called Troyes? Now, if we have a quick look on the map, that would take us from here, London, all the way down here to Troyes, which is an estimated six hours and 13 minutes. But why don't we up the ante a little bit and double the mileage? I remembered a little place in Italy called Cor Maier, all the way down here. Estimated time, or estimated travel time, 16 hours and 59 minutes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the road trip starts here. The aim of the trip is to get from point A to point B, not in the fastest time possible, but to see if a modest and unassuming vehicle like this is actually up to the challenge. So let's start from the beginning. And this behind me is the car in question. It's called a Ford Tornado Connect. And as you can see, it's got wing mirrors, steel wheels, windows, slidey doors, and a massive boot for loads of crap should we want to take it. It is a 1.6 TDCI, five speed manual, 95 horsepower, insurance group 6E. Don't know how uh, important that is. Top speed, 100 miles an hour, not to 60. Yeah, it, it, do, it doesn't tell us anything about that. £16,755, which makes it around the same price as a Ford Fiesta ST. They're different animals, obviously, but you can't sleep in an ST. Let's, uh, let's get cracking. been driving for about an hour and a half have been quite ahead of schedule had someone not forgotten to bring some keys so we had to turn around and we are on schedule to hit the channel tunnel at around 11ish hopefully if we catch the 11 o'clock crossing get into France at 12 bomb straight through to Troyes have a little snooze in the back of this bad boy maybe play some games and then just wake up refreshed. As you've probably noticed, there's something not quite right with the continuity here, and that's because shortly after filming the driving scenes to Dover, we got caught up in the mother of all traffic jams, which meant that we missed our train by two hours and had to bed down in the Torneo. You don't want to see that. Part one of the 1000 mile epic road trip. Done, we're in the Channel Tunnel. The car is supple, smooth, refined, rapid. It's not, it's not quick. It's really not fast at all. The fuel economy, a little bit disappointing, but then again, the engine isn't really run in yet, so that's not really much of an indicator. But uh, yeah, making steady progress. So it's uh, currently 1 p.m. And our ETA is approximately 6.23, which means we are far. Luckily, we've got a bottle of Candia. Now, Candia is one of the best things to ever come out of France. And that's a fact. Visibility, more. But, on the flip side, Candia. driving now for a solid six or seven hours. We are approximately 150 miles away from Geneva, so not too far off our destination. Uh, thoughts on the Torneo? It's slow, comfortable, planted. Road noise, pretty minimal. Steering, car-like, dash, like a car, driving position, it's all good, and there's loads of space. I am quietly impressed with this car. Bam, MPV, I, I don't know what it is. It's 
It's not one of those cars you get out of and you think, damn, I need a back operation, or damn, I feel tired enough to jump off a building, which is always a good thing. Eight hours in on our way to Courmayeur, and as we're approaching the foot of the mountains, something I have noticed is people who drive their motor vehicles on the motorways are turning into pretty big douchebags. They like to pull out when you're not expecting, they don't indicate, and when you flash them to say, Oi, Sonny Jim, what was that about? They like a bit of brake checking. And in my book, brake checking is not cool. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, we can just do that. Insert here. Sweet. I missed my candy up, I think I should get some now. In case you're wondering uh, that I'm wearing a t-shirt, it's a bit fresh outside because there's snow, it's just suddenly appeared. But it's pretty damn cold. Yeah. Genius. Just seen a sign for the Mont Blanc Tunnel, approximately 80 kilometers away, so that's about 50 miles. And that means I've been driving for a solid, getting on for 10 hours now. Hopefully in about an hour and a half, uh, we'll have made it to Courmayeur and we'll be surrounded by the white stuff. We've made it, we're in the Mont Blanc tunnel. We've just paid 42 euros 90 to go through a tunnel. From Latin, where we started, this car has done 699.9 miles. By the time we get to Courmayeur, that'd be more like 720 odd. Thoughts on the car? The ride's really good. Uh, plenty, plenty of power really. I mean, it's only got 90, 90 horsepower. 0 to 62, interestingly, in 14.2 seconds. This thing's really slow. But when you're cruising at 80, you know, you don't really need that power. I'm still comfortable. I'm not feeling too tired. And yeah, it's been a really decent drive. Getting on for 12 hours on the road. This car done its job nicely, and we've nailed through about two tanks of petrol, diesel, not petrol. So yeah, good day, good day. Well, we finally made it. London to Courmayeur, some 800 miles. We drove through snow, we drove through rain, we drove through sleet, we drove through the darkness, and we also had some of the worst French drivers to contend with. But we were in this car, the Ford Tourneo Connect. We were beautifully heated, the ride was comfortable and smooth, and we had some banging tunes to help us through. Now that's all left to do is for me to give this car a big deserved hug and to go for a little cruise through these wonderful mountains. Come here, you. <laughs>